Hello my students, hope you're fine. Today we are going to take a new lesson and learn new vocabulary words. The lesson is the first day at camp. We are going to learn five words. These words are found in the text that we are going to read on page 168. So, the words are Clearing, chili, rusted, campfire, and tent. Do you know any of these words? Do you know the meaning of any of these words? Let us read them again. Clearing, chili, rusted, campfire, and tent. So, the first word is clearing. It is a noun. Look at this picture, please. It is clearing. So clearing means an open place in a forest. The second word, chili. It is an adjective. Look at this, please. It describes the word chili. So chili means cold. Chili evening means a cold evening. The third word is campfire. It is a noun. Look at this picture, please. It is a campfire. So campfire means a fire in a camp. We use it to cook, to warm ourselves. The fourth word is roasted. It might come as an adjective or as, an, uh, as a verb. This is a rusted chicken, so rusted means cooked over a fire. The fifth word is tent, and it is a noun. This is a tent. So tent means a portable house or shelter for camping. Portable means we can move and carry it. Now we are going to use the words in meaningful sentences. Clearing. My brother and I found a nice clearing next to the river. Chilly. Yesterday was chilly, so I wore my jacket. Campfire. I always help my father to make the campfire. Rusted. I like to eat rusted fish. Tent. My friend and my sister made a big tent beside our house. So your homework is to read, uh, sorry, is to use the words in meaningful sentences. Okay? Now we are going to read the text. Okay, so students please open uh, on page 186 to your box. And follow along with me. This morning, Mom drove Maher and me to school early because of the camping trip. We loaded all our gear onto the bus and headed for the mountains. Mrs. Dario, the music teacher, started a song. And in no time, we were all singing. We sang all the way to the mountains. At the Cedars of Al Baruk, we scrambled off the bus. We found a good spot and pitched our tents. There were special tents for boys and others for girls. Between the tents was a nice clearing where we made the campfire. The evening was a bit chilly and we all gathered around the fire to warm ourselves. We roasted marshmallows and told jokes. In the dark, we heard the bats flying and flapping their wings. Then we heard hyenas howl howling. They sounded like people laughing. It was eerie, and some girls were scared. But Mrs. Dario told us that hyenas don't attack people sitting near a fire. The best part of the night was after dinner, when we told stories and sang campfire songs. Maher was scared of the dark, but luckily Summer took him to look for some lightning bugs. They found many and Summer gave Maher a glass jar. They collected some lightning bugs into the jar and covered 
the the jar with the mesh. Maher was happy and took the bug light into the boy's tent. Summer promised to let the bugs go when the light first appeared. Okay, please practice reading uh, this text, please. Read it more than one time. Read it three or four times, okay? Then you are going to solve these questions. Number one, why do you think Maher was scared? Why is asking about the reason? Number two, what kind of a person do you think Summer is? What makes you think that? Here you are going to describe Summer, okay? Describe him using adjectives and then say what makes you think that. If he is a good boy, so why, he's, why is he a good boy, okay? Number three, have you ever read anyone's diary? If so, whose? Number four, have you ever kept a diary? If yes, tell about one diary entry you have written. Thank you.